Get a picture of your motor running? Oh, go ahead. All right, thanks a lot. What size motor is this, bro? What's your name? Aaron. All right, shake your hand, make it. There you go, you. buddy. Great. So, what do we got here? We got Murphy turning up your car, Aaron. Yeah, sir. Putting on a new fuel pump, making that car work, work good. Yes, sir. Good job, buddy. All right. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Qualitat today and it's a motor day over at Qualitat because we got Doug the owner he's tearing a motor down and what he's tearing a motor down for can I turn this radio down Doug? Yeah, you turn it off, huh? All right how do you do that? Uh, Which button? Right okay we got to turn the radio off because we can't hear Doug when he's talking when the radio's going but what the real situation is we're over here at uh, Qualitat uh, VW over in Grand Prairie, Texas, and Doug is tearing a motor down. Now, my friend Pete had to come get some parts for his car, and we caught Doug tearing a motor down because he told me he has to inspect the motor before he sells a motor because he needs a good core. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to talk to Doug for a few minutes, and he's going to tell us what to look for and angles of situations that you might run into with your engine to make sure that it's a rebuildable engine if you have to have your motor rebuilt. All right, what's going on, bro? I'm tearing his motor down to okay, make sure so, it's a good core. So when you're saying tearing it down, you're, are you splitting the cases, I guess? Is that That's it? That's what I'm doing, yeah. And when you split the cases, you got to basically tear it down to the to the, the bare bone core of the engine. Yes, sir. And now what are we looking for to make sure that it's a rebuildable core, Doug? I want to make sure that the block hasn't been bored too far. Uh-huh. And also that the... Uh, Thrust in more too much. Right. Is that on the crankshaft? No, I have to thrust on the block. Okay, and, and where's the thrust located? By the fly, in front of the flywheel. Right wheel. there in front of the flywheel. Yes, sir. All right, so you're making sure that the thrust isn't worn out, the end play is still good on it, yeah. and it's a good rebuildable core. Yes, sir. And you want to make sure that, uh, well, because there's a thing called line bore. Is that what we're talking about? Yes, sir. And, and what is a line bore? What does line bore doing? Line bore gets the, uh, the block uh, good and round. But uh, you don't want it line bore too far. Uh -huh. It's gonna be, you know, it's not gonna last anytime. Because if you go now, when we say line bore, usually it starts out with 10,000, 20,000, 30, 40, 50. No, actually they start out 20, 40, 60. You know. 20, 40, 60. Yeah, What's the maximum out. line bore that you can have on an engine to create a good, nice running quality engine, Doug? Man, I, I like it to be 40,000 maximum, and that was. Uh, fairly recent since the blocks have gone up to over eight hundred dollars for a new block so you're telling me to buy a brand new block if your blocks bad is eight hundred dollars yes sir now i noticed on this motor here we got a situation here if we look real close uh, i'm trying to find a clean one you can see that there's an insert in there and that's called a case saver yeah. now what's the deal with those doug well those um, i won't build a motor that doesn't have those and um, that ke helps keep the uh, block or the heads from stripping out of the block when you torque the head. Okay, down. okay. But you might can look at that one right there. Okay, here's one right here. 
So what it is, it's actually the case is threaded, but then you go back and re-thread it to put it, uh, a steel insert in yes, there, sir. which holds that stud nice and tight. Yes, sir. So from the factory, it didn't have the case inserts, but you said on this motor it does. Yeah, 73 and a half. 73 up. and up does. Started, okay. Yeah. Now another thing is this is a dual relief case, am I correct? Yes, sir. And when you're talking dual relief, what does that mean, Doug? It means you got an oil pressure relief here and an oil pressure and relief one in right the there. Back. Now is that the motor that's the most popular and the best one to build if you were that's, gonna build a motor for somebody? Yes, sir, this is the best one to build for sure. Because you build a lot of motors and that's one of the reasons you're checking this is because it's an AS41 dual relief case. Yes, sir. Okay, so now that Doug's got the case split in half, what we're doing here, we're looking and inspecting everything that's inside it. As you can see right here, here's our camshaft. Now, does the camshaft in this engine have uh, bearings, Doug? Yes, sir. Because I was told that in a 40 horse and down, there's no bearings. Is that true? That's true. There's no bearings. So, so there's no bearings in a 40 and down. But in the later model ones, which this is what, a 1600, 1500? Yes, 1600. Okay, this is a 1600. It does have cam bearings. Now, would they have those line board for the cam bearings, or uh, it, you don't really do nothing with that? No, sir. Um, I think uh, some company, maybe probably out in California, might can machine that for some cam bearings. Uh -huh. but but it's not really necessary. Uh, no, sir. Uh, it's not. That's a low RPM motor. Right. I'm seeing a lot of trash. I'm, I'm seeing a bug right there. There yeah. was a bug inside the engine. Oh so this God. was an engine that was sitting around for a long time. Uh, I'm not, the guy didn't tell me. Okay, so what Doug's doing now, he's putting an a extension on there because he wants to be able to check the crank and check the... Uh, the end plate on the rod bearings. Is that what we're doing here? Well, I'm not going to do that right now. Just getting out of my way right now. Okay. And I'm going to check the. Uh, you want to check I'm the bearings? Check the line board, bearing bore and see what the. Because this of is really an exciting situation for you, to uh, to to see what. Now I see this is a worn bearing. That's something we can look at. Yeah. yeah look yeah. how worn that bearing is. You can see copper. Yeah. Is that true or am that I? That is definitely true. It wouldn't show copper if it wasn't more. So, so that's a pretty worn, worn out motor. It's been down the road several yes, miles. Yes, sir. Probably over 100,000. Okay, on the back of the bearing, would that be able to tell us what size bearings were in this case, or or Not what's the time the... they will? But um, I now, just... what bearings did we have in this one, Buck? This BC 290. I don't see. Uh... BC 290. It says uh, 50,000, so it'd be 20,000. So size. that's a 20,000 motor. So that's actually a good rebuildable engine that you can rebuild to sell to the general public and feel satisfied that they're going to get a good quality engine, am I right? Uh, let me check it right quick and see. Uh, okay, so how are we checking and I'm what are we checking? I'm 20,000 bearings here. Okay, that's a 20,000 bearing. I'm going to check see how they fit and also, so you got to feel for the lip here. Uh -huh. If it's got a lip anywhere on any of these places here, it will need to be line board again, but I'm really not feeling a lip there. Let me go ahead and check with these bearings here and see if that fits good and tight. Seems to be fitting good and tight there. Good and tight there. So you're yeah. thinking that this engine might be a possibly a good rebuild where you don't even have to line bore it? Possibly, yes. And now, that's. Let me check it. I'm going to be checking this bearing. Now that's the thrust that's the bearing. That's thrust, and it's good and tight there. No thr the thrust is not wore on it. The thrust is the most important bearing yeah. because that's where your end play is yeah. on, on the crankshaft yes, sir. and the flywheel. That's where most of the weight is, am I right? Yes, sir. So it appears to be a good rebuildable block unless I clean it up and find a, a okay. crack or something. Yeah. Right. But, so we got lucky today. This is going to be an engine that Doug's going to rebuild. It's going to be a high quality rebuilt engine over here at Qualitat yes, that's going to be up for sale. Now, on this particular engine, being as clean as it is, only bored out to 20,000. Would you recommend to build a bigger block engine such as 1776 possibly? Oh, would it be it, a good candidate it, it for that? It would be a good candidate for, for a bigger motor, yes. So what we're looking at here is when you tear your engine down, you want to inspect the engine and the main thing is the bearings. The main bearings for the crankshaft, am I right? Yes, sir. And, and, All right. and the thrust. You know. All right, shake your hand, make a friend, Doug. We got to go, bud. My Qualitat. Friend Pete here. Yeah, Qualitat. Uh, Volkswagen Parts in Grand Prairie, Texas, located right between Dallas and Fort Worth. And you build engines, 
bunches of engines. You sell them all over the Southwest and, and do a good quality job at that, dude. We got to yeah. go, Doug. Thanks for the information. All right, you're welcome. It's a Volkswagen world over here with Doug and all his fucking Volkswagens. Yes, sir. It's a fucking bitch, but we got to go, bro. All right, shake a hand, make a friend. You just got grease all over my head, bitch. All right, well, you love it. <laughs> I'll see you later, bro. All right, man. All right. Have a good one. All right, dude. <laughs> All right, so if you're looking for an engine, a high-quality, uh, good-issued, standard-built engine, or maybe a possibly uh, a high-performance Volkswagen engine, you can see that Doug over here at Qualitas is the guy to go to and, and get it done right and do it right. He's got good motors all the way from... 1600s all the way up to 2179s or whatever the fuck you want, he can get her done and do it right. All right, guys, did we get that motor running? Did Doug do it right for you? Did he do a good job? Did Murphy do his job today? Yes, sir. All right, who are you, bro? Carlton. How you doing, Carlton? You're uh, Aaron's buddy. Or is it your brother? You guys kind of, okay. Did he do a good job? Did he do you a square, Aaron? Yeah, he did me good. All right, all right, yeah. bud. We got to go, man. Y'all take care. Okay. See you later, Doug. All right. All right, dude. Quality tap. Quality tap. Watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.